first of all, Kirsty, I mean, being made redundant just after having a baby must have been an absolutely awful ordeal. Did you have any idea that it was going to happen? Uh, well, I, um, I had, yeah, a, a bit of an idea that all was not well. But, um, yeah, it was, you kind of put it out of your head, don't you? And you just deal with things when they come along. So, yeah, but when it came along, it was a bit of a... <laughs> so you'd torn out this article so you clearly had something in the back of your mind said this might be for me yeah just the the their main thing digital mums is um about finding work that works around you having a child or children um and so flexible work and sort of work that just you can do at nine o'clock at night or you can do it when the baby's having his nap or however so um I just thought right fine this sounds good and uh you could train remotely which was good for the Isle of Man of course and so that was it I was like right okay I'll do it (laughs) so what does training to become a social media manager actually involve then well, their method um, is to, to do it all through real learning. So it's not just like a, ho- a whole host of um, lessons where they're just telling you what to do. You actually have to set up all your platforms from scratch and um, build your audience organically and um, try out all the tricks and things they suggest and uh, keep building, keep building. And then eventually you'll come across um, ads and advertising and how that can help you if you want and and yeah, so it's just, it's, it's the whole journey and you, you, it's all real experience. So now I can go to somebody and say, I can run your social media because I've done it and I, here's my figures, here's my analytics and boom, off I go. So yeah.